considering. One hopes these carts offer comfort commensurate. Look as long as you please. Dear, that's the wrong one. Ah, oh, apologies. Thank you. <sighs> Fie. My vision's growing worse by the day, I fear. Methinks it began when I started reading an old grimoire I found whilst tidying the storeroom. Tis entitled, On the Transference of Souls. A curious tome, this. It claims to grant the reader the power to summon things from beyond the rift. I thought I might use it to stock my shells with otherworldly wares. Perhaps you will think me simple, but truly all I want is a better life for my wife and daughter. Yet tis most vexing, for the moment I start reading the tome, tis as if a fog descends over my eyes. But mayhap there is hope for me yet, if I can get my hands on a quince. They're said to reduce fatigue of the eyes, would you be kind enough to procure one for me? I must keep reading that grimoire. I've heard quinces are native to Batal. Have you brought me a quince? Many thanks, sir. At last, I may continue reading that grimoire. This could be the turning point in my family's fortune. Well met, sir. You'll be glad to know that I finally finished my reading of that grimoire we spoke of. Which brings me to a curious point. There's a favor I'd ask of you. Hmm? What happened to my eye? Oh, uh, uh, never mind the bandage. Tis nothing serious. Now, as I was saying, I'd like for you to find the Grimoire's second volume for me. T'would seem tis part of a set, and will only reveal its true power when both tomes are in hand. The copy I possess is but the first, one half of a whole. I've heard tell that its twin can be found in a queer little shop in Vermont. Alas, passing through the border checkpoint is no simple matter for a humble merchant like myself. But you, sir, I dare say you are not of Batal. Then you ought have no trouble passing through the checkpoint. I implore you, find that second volume for me. All I want is to give my family a decent life, the life they deserve. This is my chance to provide for them as I ne'er have. A queer little shop in Vermond, is it? I wonder which of the shops in Vermond matches that description. Beg pardon, sir, but I must ask you to stop aiding my husband. He lost his eye while reading that grimoire. His eye! I can't bear to see him involved with that fell thing anymore. But he refuses to listen to me. He's been saying not to worry, that he'll make us more money soon. Tis as if he's lost his mind how much he repeats it. <laughs> Tis all my fault, Mother. He's only been like this since I said I wished we had an easier life. No, it isn't, dear, and don't you fret. Your father, he'll be back to his old self before you know it. Pray, sir, seek out that grimoire if you must, but do not give it to my husband. I beg of you. Ought we to give Sir Isaac the grimoire as he requested? Tis a quandary indeed. Welcome, sir. If you think me, then buy something. On the transference of souls, eh? It is not like to do much harm on its own, but when combined with its twin, the first volume, tis potent indeed. Take care how you use it, sir. A liar, then buy something. Ah! I see you desire one of my masterpieces. Very well. I shall have your order crafted in good time. A little patience is all I ask.
Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then buy something and see the truth. The item you requested is complete. Hope to see you again. I cannot rest. Right you are. So we... Greetings, Sir Arisen. Have you found the second volume of On the Transference of Souls, perchance? Fortune smiles upon me at last. With this, my shop's prosperity is all but assured. Thank you, Sir Arisen. Oh, thank you. Perhaps you'd care to join me. Come. Bear witness to this momentous occasion. We're to be guided to our destination. Let's try to follow along. Oh, what does this say? It couldn't hurt to take a peek. This is it. This is the moment I've been preparing for. Dear, is this truly safe? I'm afraid of what's to come. Have faith, my darling. All is well. You need only stand there and watch. Father, you don't need to do this. I'm happy with our life as tis now. Tis good to hear you say that, my daughter. But I've come too far. I must see this through. I believe I need only... Ha! I did it! I did it! Now, what do we have here? Tis sand. Sand as could be found anyway. I suppose it was foolish to hope that our fortunes could be turned so easily. Well, I've learnt my lesson. No more of this grimoire nonsense for me. I'll settle for being a humble apothecary after all. If you'll still have me, my dears. My dears? Esmeralda? Raelia? Where could they have gone? Hmm. This, this is my daughter's. And, and here's my wife's wedding ring. Why would they be buried here in the sand? Unless... <laughs> Nay, it couldn't be. My wife and daughter vanished for this? Piles of sand? <laughs> no, of course not. Their patience with me simply ran thin. They run off somewhere, that's all. I'm sure of it. I'll just have to find them. Come back, my dears. I was a fool. To think this was the conclusion that awaited us. It seems we were wrong to indulge Sir Isaac after all. All we can do now is learn from our failings. Oh no! Did I? Did I do it? All appears unchanged. A failure, then. Ah, well. I suppose our fortunes were ne'er likely to turn so easily. I've learned my lesson. No more of this grimoire nonsense for me. I'll settle for being a humble apothecary after all. My dears, can you forgive me for my foolishness? Oh, Isaac. You two had the right of it all along. I ne'er should have chased after a silly dream like this. Father, I... I shouldn't have complained. I know you do your best for us. You always have. Enough of that now. You've naught to apologize for. Tis a father's duty to provide for his children. I only wish I could give you more. You have my gratitude, Sir Arisa. 
Though I failed in my quest, I've learnt much. And from this moment forth, I'll be focusing my energies on naught but my trade. I hope I can count on your continued patronage, sir. It weighs heavily on my heart that we deceived Sir Isaac so. I cannot but wonder if we made the right choice. When all's said and done, I'm quite glad my experiment failed. Though I wish I knew why it did. Alas, such things are best forgotten. In fact, methinks you ought to take this grimoire off my hand, sir. No sense in my holding on to it. When all's said and done, alas, such things are better. My husband has returned to work with renewed vigor. Tis good to have him back to his old self. He'll have all the support we can give. We're family, after all. I wonder if we would have been wealthy had the experiment succeeded. Suppose it could have gone either way, really. Mayhap I should just be grateful nothing untoward came of it. My husband has returned to work. I wonder if we would have been well. Suppose it could have gone either way, really. When all said it, alas, such thing. Here, if you please.